when I first started living in commons, it was 7.05 a month, and then it switched to 7.15, and now it's 7.40. South Campus Commons is student housing everyone wants. Whether it's the location, just minutes from Route 1, or the amenities offered, students are flocking to live there. Assistant Director of Leasing Shayla Benson knows that more than anyone. We've just been fortunate enough to have such a great student population that, I, I mean, we're always in demand. We always have a wait list. Wait list may be an understatement. Try 3,000 students vying for 800 spots. Those lucky enough to get in face rental hikes and monthly rates that, including utilities, are up almost $100 per person over the past three years. My parents agree to pay it because they want me to be on campus and they want me to be safe, but it is very high. Benson says it's just a matter of keeping up with the rising prices of everything else. The cost of living, it does go up every year. Utilities go up, um, but we try to make the process as less difficult and streamlined as possible so that students don't have to worry about paying separate utilities. Comparable buildings like Knox Towers have rates that range from $600 to $800 per person. Commons decides their rates after reviewing their budget, which has no affiliation with the university. The university and our third party um, decides what is a reasonable rate based on what is needed for that future budget year and also what the students are able to afford. But with students facing tuition hikes and a down economy, Commons may have to rethink what students actually can afford. In College Park, I'm Elena Connolly for Maryland Newsbreak.